Hello Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna be doing a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, what do you need to know. Um, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. Um, you can check out your other placements as well if you want addi additional messages that might resonate for you. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box if you're curious about checking out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. So let's jump in for, uh, I was going to say um, Sagittarius for Cancer. Does Cancer need to know, Spirit, regarding love? Cancer, this will be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? What does Cancer need to know, Spirit? What does Cancer need to know regarding their connection for Cancer? Okay, so what's going on in your connection? We have the Wheel of Fortune reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, Seven of Cups reverse. Well, these two cards are telling me there's no movement forward. There's something is at a dead stop or just stuck. Uh, this could be just delays, you know, and instead of just something that's like completely done and not moving at all, there could be a serious delay here. Seven of Cups Reverse could be a card about making the wrong choice. So we'll have to clarify that. Because sometimes I can also mean that one option has been chosen out of many. Okay, tell me about Cancer. King of Cups, Eight of Cups Reverse, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. And your person has a Six of Wands, Reverse, Knight of Cups, the Moon. Wow, Pisces energy. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Um, they have the moon. So I'm kind of wondering what's being really hidden here. Uh, now this Seven of Swords, they tend to make wrong choices. So their approach is not always the best approach. They try to have their cake and eat it too, typically, or they try to do things um, in secret and sometimes it's just not the right way to do things. So we'll see what's going on here Clarify Let's Get some clarity please for cancer What does cancer need to know about these energies? Oh, okay, let's try that again Does cancer need to know about these energies for one more guidance please messages for cancer well let's see why things are kind of stopped or not moving forward stuck why is the wheel of fortune reverse with this eight of swords not eight of swords eight of wands reverse why is the wheel of fortune reverse with the eight of wands reverse death scorpio energy an ending a change transformation i think it's something ended between you and this person that's why there's no movement i mean it makes sense but i mean that's just so simple to me <laughs> just i mean hmm, we'll see they, they have a knight of cups so clearly this isn't really over i mean i don't think it is so let's see can I get one more? Wheel of Fortune reverse and Eight of Wands reverse. Can I get some more clarity, please, for this Wheel of Fortune reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is not over. This is just taking a really long time to start again. Fool is at the bottom of the deck. Or at least one of you, for one of you in this connection, this isn't over. You maybe are hoping for a new beginning. Both of you, perhaps. But I, I know at least one of you. Okay. 
Hold on. So what's the Seven of Cups reverse about? Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Oh, I got two. The Magician and the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone's manifesting an offer, an expression of interest, an apology. Someone wants this. So I'm starting to think that this is, let me see, can I get one more for the Seven of Cups reverse before you say that? Can I get one more for this Seven of Cups reverse? The Two of Cups, yeah. I was gonna say, I mean, unless this is somebody that made the wrong choice and wants to apologize for it, um, but really what I'm seeing here is that someone wants to, they're manifesting this connection to happen or they're manifesting some sort of movement here. And the Three of Cups is at the bottom of the de deck, so like maybe a reunion of some sort that someone wants or desires. So let's get some insight on your energies. Can I get some insight please on the energies be between Cancer and this other person? Can I get some insight please on the energies between Cancer and this other person? Now Cancer, I have you on one side, I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Cancer's energy. What is Cancer's energies? Walking away. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. So you could have walked away from this person, Cancer, or maybe you need to walk away from something now to be with this person. You do have the Eight of Cups reverse. So this could be a return or it could be that someone is wanting to leave but can't. They're prevented or delayed from leaving. So tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies, this person that Cancer? Oh my God. What? Okay, so I'm just gonna take the ones that were upright. Balancing act and happy ending. Juggling, deciding. I feel like this is someone that goes back and forth about how to maybe get their happy ending or what they truly want, what truly makes them happy perhaps. Maybe they um, second guess themselves. Will I ever have my happy ending, etc. Okay, tell me more for Cancer. What can you tell me about Cancer's energy? Lovers, number 15. So there is a strong connection here. I think you still feel it, or at least think about it. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies? Imprisonment, great. <laughs> So, okay, so your person is feeling a bit stuck. Whether it's stuck in a situation that they're currently in or stuck in, you know, fear, paralyzed by fear. Okay, so, hmm. So let's start with you. King of Cups is here. That's why I think you still have some sort of emotions here interest and the queen of wands is here so there's attraction desire i feel like you're drawn to this person tell me about the queen of wands why is the queen of wands here three of wands tell me about the queen of wands Well, the hangman in the three of wands tells me you've probably been waiting 
for this for a while. Maybe there's something that you are interested in, but you just haven't made any steps towards it or someone hasn't made any steps towards you. There's stuck energy here. And again, it makes sense because I have the Wheel of Fortune reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups? Oh my gosh, the Wheel of Fortune, I think, wanted to come out. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse for Cancer? Okay. The Chariot, Cancer, there you are. And King of Pentacles. Cancer, you might be already in uh, another commitment that you would need to leave or walk away from. You could also be wanting to go towards this person. But I feel like this is you unable to leave a situation or delayed from leaving a situation with the Eight of Cups reverse. I think you're waiting before you do something. And I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but it's causing delays. You know, if it's not you, it's this person. But I, I feel like for a lot of you, that's why you have the Three of Wands and the Hangman. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. So you might feel imprisoned just like this person stuck in a situation fearful now let's see what this person's got going on because they have the six of wands reverse so that's not a great energy to have why is the six of wands reverse why is the six of wands reverse yeah, Five of Pentacles. Things aren't going great. Uh, the tower at the bottom of the deck. I can imagine why. <laughs> That's not fun. This person could be going through difficulties in their life. They're not happy. Excuse me. They might feel like something is missing in their life. Can I get one more for this Six of Wands reverse? Queen of Swords. I think they're realizing this judgment at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe they know that they have to address something honestly. Maybe they're being very honest with themselves about the situation. When I see the Queen of Swords and the Judgment card, I almost get like a brutal realization or like a tough personal awakening, a tough lesson learned. Why is the moon here? Strength, Leo energy. Why is the moon here? For Cancer. Why is the moon here? Ten of Cups. Well, I feel like something here might have been an illusion. Can I get one more for the moon? Or something looked good on the outside, but deep down it wasn't. This person could have been pretending. Yeah, the high priestess, there's some sort of mystery secret here. It's almost like um, two faces. Can I get um, some insight on the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah. I feel like someone is um, realizing a certain truth. I have the Hermit here at the bottom of the deck. Virgo energy. So I feel like someone's having some sort of like, they're listening to their intuition or they just have clarity about an illusion, clarity about what has been hidden, clarity about a secret. This could also be somebody that wants to open up, reveal what they've been hiding. Maybe this is where happiness truly is because all this time they've been pretending. This person has been pretending to perhaps have a good life or, or feel better than 
their current circumstances, but it's, it's just pretending. They really are not doing very well. And I think they're realizing that this isn't helping, right? So maybe they're going through their life right now thinking, well, if I just pretend I have a perfect life, maybe life will catch up. And they're realizing that that's not how life works. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What can you tell me about the Ace of Swords? Yeah, Five of Swords. I feel like this was somebody that possibly was deceiving themselves, deceiving someone else without meaning to. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. They probably didn't want to appear like a failure or if appear like, you know, like it's almost like having others think that my life is not peachy is not an option, right? But that that's only hurting themselves. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. You can hide this all you want, but at the end of the day, you're the one living that life, you know? Who cares what other people think? They're not living your life. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. They could have also hidden their true feelings from, from you because I have the Knight of Cups here. What's this Knight of Cups about? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Five of Cups. They, this could be an apology for sure. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I think they're regretful over the situation they find themselves in now. And for some reason they have to apologize to you for that. Maybe they left you for someone else or they left you or blamed you for something. And um, I feel like all where they're at now is not any better, you know, and maybe they mistreated you and now they need to apologize for it. Can we get some insight into what this person is thinking, feeling about cancer? What are they thinking, feeling about cancer? Spirits, angels, guides. What are they thinking, feeling? Oops. Okay. I'm afraid to contact you. I look for you everywhere. So you're not in contact with this person, which makes sense that there is no movement forward. There's no... Nothing happening in this connection at this time. I look for you everywhere. Can we get some more insight into what they're thinking, feeling? I think this person is afraid to contact you just because I think they would have to come to you with the their tail between their legs. Almost like, oh, you were right, or I made a mistake. My life is a mess now. I'm so sorry. I am now imprisoned in a mistake of my own making. What else do we need to know about what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to cancer? It's all my fault. So they, there's definitely regret here, cancer. This person, bottom of the deck, you are my soulmate. This person definitely is having regrets. And I think if it were up to them, I think they're going to want to come forward and apologize to you or admit, you know, maybe conf have a confession of some sort. Because they're going to tell you something here. They're going to tell you, or they know that this is possibly whatever's happening here with the moon and the clarity that they're getting and regarding a secret. I still feel that for a lot of you, this is someone that they would need to reveal this to you because that's the only way to move forward. But I think others of you are dealing with a person who's realizing this about their own life and they're being pushed to eventually come forward here. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you. Thank you again for all of your support. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more readings from me, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.